All right, guys, so we have our 48 pit crew team here. We're gonna do a virtual workout. We've been communicating with these guys through Microsoft Teams. And by the way, if y'all notice, we have two guys on the same camera. They live right next to each other. Um, we are doing social distancing with them. They're six feet apart, but they're able to work out together, but safely, not sharing any equipment. Everything we do will be body weight. So they are safely working out together. Is everybody good and loose? If you're good, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you're ready to roll. All right, fellas. So on this first circuit, we got four exercises. It's gonna be mountain climbers, prone tees, push-ups, and then planks with an alternating upper extremity forward reach. So on the first one, we'll get rolling. We'll go right into mountain climbers. We got 40 total. Forty mountain climbers. So this workout's good too, because we got some of these guys outside, they're able to get some sunshine, good with some vitamin D, mental health, help uh, the immune system. All right, now we're going face down, prone T, so laying on your stomach, arms lifting up, thumbs up towards the sky. We got 12 of them, 12 of them on the first round. Arms straight out, stalling, straight out, straight out. Out to your side, just, just your arms, not the legs, just the arms. Don, you have to hit the legs, just the arms, relax the legs, there you go. Come up, pinch your scaps, nice little squeeze. Going straight into 20 push-ups. Then we're going to a plank from there. From that plank, we're gonna alternate reaching forward with your arms. Plank with an alternate reaching forward. 12 each this time, 24 total, 12 each. We'll decrease it on the next round, the round after that. Stalling, try to sit that butt down a little bit. There you go. All right, round two of, this, of the first circuit, back to mountain climbers. We got 30 total this time, decreasing from 40 to 30. So 30 total, 15 on each side. So with these mountain climbers, we're looking to spike the heart rate. And then we go right into the prone tees, which you can give them an active rest after that. Similar to a pit stop, you know, we were only going for about, you know, hopefully under 15 seconds. Spiking heart rate and they have time to recover. So into the prone tees, when y'all are done with that, 10 of them, not 12, but 10 this time. Finish those scats on the way up. And did 15 push-ups when you're done. Going back into a plank, and now you got 10 alternating reaches, 10 on each side. Last round of the first circuit coming up. Going mountain climbers again, 20 total this time. 10 on each side, 20 total.
and prone tees or horizontal abduction. Going 10 push-ups from there. And then we got the plank with eight on each side, reaching forward this time, eight. Second round is going to consist of alternating split squat jumps, a single leg bridge, a squat with a three second pause at the bottom, and then a plank with alternating leg lifts this time. Same thing, we got three rounds. We'll taper the reps as we go. If everybody's ready, alternating split squat jumps, 12 total, 12 total, six on each side on you. A single leg bridge, 12 on each side. Single leg bridge, 12 on each side. Take that opposite leg and kick it straight up towards the sky. Going high with the opposite leg. Straight up, straight up. Really squeezing glutes on the way up. Keep that core tight. Going to a squat, when you hit the bottom, I want you to pause for two to three seconds and then lift back up. So normal tempo, just hitting a pause at the bottom. We got 12 of them total. If you start fatiguing, you can decrease the pause if you need to. one for the first round is a plank. Now you're going alternating leg lifts. You want that plank, alternating leg lifts, 12 each. 12 each. Circuits, we're trying to get a little bit of core as well as working in the upper we're trying to work our shoulders rotator cuff strengthening in the lower half we're trying to work some of the hip strengthening glutes we got a lot of downtime from nascar right now it's a good time to work on this keep our guys healthy need strong backs strong shoulders strong hips all right back to the top second round we're going to go alternating split squat jumps 10 total five each side Single leg bridge, 10 each side.
All right, going into the squat with a three second pause at the bottom. We got 10 this time, 10 of them, three second pause. Plank, plank, 10 alternating leg lifts, 10 on each side, 20 total. Keep that core tight, try not to rotate the hips too much. Activate the glutes on the way up. Calvin, you don't have to go so high with your legs, you're okay. You don't have to go so high. All right, third round, back to the split squat jumps. Eight total, four on each side. We'll catch a breather after this round. Single leg bridge, eight each side, eight each side. Going squat with a three second pause, eight total. Last one hitting the plank. Eight leg lifts each side, alternating. All right, fellas, so on the third circuit, same thing, it's three rounds. We're gonna have a linear bear crawl. We're going forward and backwards. On that one, I want big, big walks, so try to spread your arms, legs, moving big. Then we got the prone swimmers where you're laying on your stomach, legs are relaxed. You're reaching those arms forward and backward, work on some shoulder mobility as well as strengthening. Um, after that, it's a high plank with a toe touch to overhead reach. So you're in high plank, come down and get your opposite toe, reaching forward. Working core mobility there. And then we got a cup hold crunch to finish that one off. So we'll start right here at the top if y'all are ready with linear bear crawls. If you come in and out of the screen, that's okay. Just work on your form, big, big steps. We got 12 total. So we're gonna go six forward, six backwards on this first round. On you, six forward, six backwards. And then for you in the house, just go forward and backwards multiple times. Y'all just go back and forth every time if you need to. Back of your chest, prone swimmers. So legs are relaxed, upper body only. Upper body only. Trying to reach overhead, behind. Trying to keep those hands high off the ground, looking towards the sky. Almost like a reverse snow angel. Stallings and two to relax the legs. Y'all can relax the legs, you can relax your head. It's all about shoulders. So shoulders are lifting up, just the shoulders coming above your head and behind, down towards your tail. 12 of them total.
So you're going to do a high plank. That high plank, you take one arm, reach down, hit your alternate toe, and reach it straight overhead. So in a high plank, reach down, tap a toe, coming up, reaching overhead. Alternate, we got 12 of them, 12 each. After that, we're gonna lay down, hit a cup hold crunch. So flipping over. We got 12 on each side. 12 on each side, cup hold crunch. One leg 90-90, the other leg straight out, hovering six inches. Support your head, don't strain your neck. Back to the top, round two. We got linear bear crawls, forward and backwards, five each way this time, five each way. Prone swimmers, 10 total this time. Relaxing the body, main focus is on the arms, really trying to elevate the hands off the ground towards the sky, get as much motion as you can. From there, we're going to that high plank with those alternating toe touches to overhead reach, 10 each this time, 10 each. Done, you go into that cup hole crunch. You got 10 on each side. So on this fourth circuit, we're going tuck jumps. Body weight, single leg RDL is body weight, so the emphasis will be on technique. You know, you're not gonna, we're not loading weight up, but if we really work technique, we can still get some, some benefit out of it. We're gonna hit an alternating lateral lunge and then abdominal bicycles. So same thing, we'll only do two rounds on this one. They're the same format, 12, 12, 12. On the bicycles, we're going 40 and 30. So we're gonna start with tuck jumps if y'all are ready. Going 12 tuck jumps. Work on getting high, work getting those knees up. Nice soft landings, nice soft landings.
sorry it's elevated right now, but we're going to go into that single leg RDL. Catch your breath as you're doing it. We'll use RDL as an active recovery. Focus on technique. Take your time with it. Let's give you plenty of time to recover. We're gonna try to slow it down just a little bit. When y'all are going, try to keep that back leg straight back. You don't want it bending in or out. Everybody's done. So next we're going to an alternating lateral lunge. We're gonna hit 12 on each side. Alternating lateral lunge. Abdominal bicycles, so core bicycles. So on your back, we have bicycles 40 total, 20 on each side. Ten tuck jumps, ten tuck jumps. Weight single leg RDL, 10 on each side, 10 on each side. Lateral lunge, 10 each.
going 30 abdominal bicycles. Last one right here, last one. Else out there that's watching this, stay healthy, stay fit, stay active. 